Hello everybody, I'm back. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Um, I am so glad to be sitting here doing another video. Um, you guys, I was moving and it just took me way longer than I expected um, to get everything set up and situated. So, but I'm back. Thank you to you all who reached out to me and um, was concerned about me. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Miss Tina over at Rhapsody and Ribbons, thank you so much for, for caring. Um, I am doing well. And so if you are not already subscribed to my channel, um, I would love, love it if you would do that. Um, and to my subscribers, my friends, thank you all for coming back. So today we are going to do a spring wreath. I don't have a wreath on my door right now, so um, this is gonna go on my door. So the supplies you're gonna need are, you're going to need some type of sign. And this sign here is from Dollar Tree and it says, hello spring. And I like all the colors in there. So we're gonna use this sign. You'll also need a 14 inch wreath frame also from Dollar Tree. You will need some mesh. Now, my friend found this um, mesh here at Dollar Tree. Thank you, Tamika. So, I, this came from Dollar Tree and it's 10 inch mesh by 10 yards. So, we're gonna use that. And I also have this burlap mesh ribbon from Old Time Pottery. I have some florals here. Um, I think these all are from Dollar Tree. I also have um, a few birds and butterflies, dragonflies. We're just going to put some on there on the wreath. Okay. And I also, I pre-made this ribbon, this bow already. Um, so you could put a bow on it if, if that's what you like. And so I'll link the tutorial to um, my my bow tutorial in the description box box below. So guys, let me get everything all set up, and when I come back, we'll get started. Y'all, I was so excited about doing this wreath that I forgot to tell you guys a couple of other things that you're gonna need to make this wreath. So you are going to need some scissors or scissors and a rotary cutter or you can just use the scissors and a ruler if you don't have a mat and a rotary cutter okay you also gonna need some um, wire cutters and so we can cut those florals off the stem the stems off the florals and you're gonna need some pipe cleaners and you also going to need your hot glue gun and glue sticks. I apologize, guys. I was just excited. <laughs> so, um, we are going to do ruffles for this wreath, okay? And this is 10-inch mesh. And so, we are going to cut our pieces 20 inches long. So, what you're going to do is you're going to roll out your mesh here. And we're going to measure the 20 inches. And... You'll use your rotary cutter and scissors, and you cut here at 20 inches, just like that. So that's how you'll cut your mesh, okay? And so what we're going to do is we're going to get our reframe here, and we're going to take our pipe cleaner, and we're going to leave our pipe cleaners whole, but what we're going to do is we're going to use these middle two bars around the whole wreath frame. These two inner bars here, we're gonna put the pipe cleaners around there. So we'll take our pipe cleaner, and we'll put it through those two middle bars, and we'll just tighten it up around there, just like that, okay? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our mesh here, and so I'm going to start with this burlap mesh, but 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to alternate which one that I put on top and which one I put on bottom. But I'll show you what I mean by that. So take your mesh like this and your fingers here in the middle and just scrunch up the middle like this. And so you'll have that. So we're going to come here on the wreath frame and we're going to place the ruffle right down in the wreath, um, in the pipe cleaner. And we're going to tighten it up like that. Okay? Just like that. Okay, so we're going to take our blue mesh, and this is cut at 10 inches too. We're going to do a ruffle. So we'll take our fingers here in the middle, and we'll just scrunch it up the middle. Like so. And we are going to take this ruffle, and we're just going to place it right on top. Now you can place it like across that one or you can lay it just right on top of it. But I'm going to kind of place it going in the um, opposite direction. So just tighten it up like that. And usually I try to get the pipe cleaners that kind of match um, my mesh but I didn't have any so I'm just using what I have on hand right now so but it's not gonna you're not gonna really see the pipe cleaners after we get everything on um, on the wreath frame but this is how that's gonna look so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and place your next um, pipe cleaner around those two middle bars you're just gonna tighten it up like that and I'm going to take the blue mesh here and then I'm going to do a ruffle. So we'll have your fingers here in the middle and just scrunch it up. So the blue mesh is going to go on the bottom this time. And all I'm going to do is just alternate like that um, around the whole wreath frame. So you'll put your ruffle down there like so and just tighten it up just like that okay and so we'll do the burlap do this ruffle fingers in the middle and just scrunch it up the middle okay and then I'm just gonna take this one and kind of lay it like so Okay, and so that's how we're, we're going to kind of push them together, push the, the ruffles together like so. Okay, and then we'll move on, put another pipe cleaner in over those two middle bars like so and just tighten it up so this time I'm going to put the burlap on the bottom and the blue on the top and you don't have to do it that way um, you can just you know put the burlap on the bottom all the time and then put the blue or how, however you want to do it is it's fine okay so we'll put the mesh down in there like this and we'll tighten it up okay and we'll take our blue mesh and we will do another ruffle just like that and we'll put this blue mesh on top like so and that's all we're going to do around the whole wreath frame. Okay. And so I believe that I'm just going to put like three ruffle bundles in each section. And so a ruffle bundle consists of those two ruffles and one pipe cleaner. So there are going to be three ruffle bundles in each section. You have six sections on this wreath frame. So from this crossbar to this crossbar that's a section 
and it's six sections on the wreath frame. So I'm going to finish that up and when I come back I'll show you how it looks with all the mesh on there. So I got all the mesh on the wreath frame and so remember we put um, two ruffles in, in a pipe cleaner. Um, so that's a ruffle bundle and we put three ruffle bundles in each section and there are six sections on the wreath frame. Okay, so and I, and I did use one roll of each color. So you're going to need one roll for each color. So to save on time, I went ahead and um, put our little pipe cleaners back here on the sign. And so all I did was I took my pipe cleaners and I took my hot glue gun and I put the glue around and over the pipe cleaner. Okay, and you're gonna have you're gonna want to hold it, you know, for a little while, for a few seconds, so it can kind of harden a little bit and um, just let it dry completely. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our sign on the wreath frame, and I'm gonna place it like right here in the middle. So we'll just take our pipe cleaners and put them down there and let's see on it about right there and so what you're gonna do is you want to move this mesh out of the way so you can get your pipe cleaners um, down through there so what I'm gonna do is turn it over and so we're gonna come here this this bar right here we're going to tighten the pipe cleaner around there, but not so tight until we get all the um, pipe cleaners on there. You got to make sure that your sign is where you want it. So we'll tighten a little bit. Get the other ones. Let's see. Okay. Let me find the other hand. There it go. the other one right there okay we'll turn it back over and just make sure it's where you want it okay and then then I'll go back and tighten it up um, I'll go back and tighten the pipe cleaners down but you want to kind of Put your mesh out like this so you can see all your pretty mesh and all of that and fix it like that. And so I did go through and kind of cut um, the pipe cleaners down but I am going to go back and trim a little bit more of those pipe cleaners. Okay, so we got our sign on here. Okay. This is how it's looking right now. Okay, so now we're just going to start putting our flowers on and just start decorating the wreath. Okay, so I have these florals right here, so I'm going to use some pink, some yellow, blue, and purple. So I have all those colors in the sign, so I just want to kind of bring out um, those colors. And so, actually, I'm just going to take these, pop these off like that, and you can just take, take your little wire cutters and trim a little bit more of the stem off. And then we are going to take our hot glue and put it back here and just start placing the flowers on wherever you want to place them. Um, it doesn't matter. So I'll start over here. Just make sure you get it to stick down. Okay, got that one. And 
I'm going to take one, another one, another pink one, and we're going to trim off uh -oh, some of that stem, put some hot glue on it, and I'm going to come here on this opposite side, and I'm just going to place one over here on the opposite side. Okay, and just hold it down there. Okay, and then I am going to take some of this, this yellow one, this, this yellow flower, excuse me, trim off some of that, put the hot glue on there, and let's see, let's put one down here, and let's hold it in place. Okay, and then that's really, that's all we're going to do. We're going to go around this wreath frame and we are going to place um, these flowers on. And then we're going to start on the little butterflies and the dragonflies. And then we're going to place that bow on. Got all the flowers on there. And I also went ahead and put the little birds up here on top. I decided not to put the butterflies on there. Um, I just wish they were a little bit bigger. But <clears throat> that's basically all we're going to do. The next thing we're going to do, though, is take our bow and place it on. And so what I did was... Um, when I made the bow, I used floral wire. Um, so I just wrapped the pipe cleaners around the wire. Um, and I also extended the pipe cleaners by tying two pipe cleaners together, like so. So I think what I'm gonna do is place my, um, my bow on the bottom here. So all I'm gonna do is um, Put my pipe cleaners through there and we're going to connect it onto that inner bar on the wreath frame. So here I can turn around and show you. So we're going to connect it here, um, but I'm not going to put it down real tight right now because I want to try to adjust my bow here on the front because I can see it needs to kind of go down a little bit so you can see the sign okay and so that's all we're gonna do I'm gonna go through and fluff up my bow tighten up that pipe cleaner on the back and also I'm going to take my um, my ends here my um, my ribbon and I'm going to fold it over like so and then I'm going to take my scissors and just cut down at an angle and get that little V shape there that little dovetail and so I'll go through and do all of those like that when I come back I'm going to hang the wreath up and show you how it looks um, all completed so here is the wreath all completed and I think it turned out pretty good um, it's very colorful like I wanted it and I also added a little flower to the bow um, I just hot glued it on there but I like to thank you guys again for coming back to my channel. Um, and I will be uploading videos regularly um, now. So, um, which I thank you so much. And if you would please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys and have a blessed day.